Hello, in this video let us look at all the <coughs> syllabus, syllabus of anatomy, okay. So anatomy, let us see what and all is there. Uh, usually the exam is conducted as two papers, paper 1 and paper 2. In paper 1 you will have general anatomy, upper limb, thorax, head and neck, brain neuroanatomy, okay. So first let us see what you will uh, study in general anatomy. General anatomy you will study about artery, bone, joints, limbs, nerve, what else? A lot of things like very generic stuff. Then coming to upper limb, in upper limb you will study the bones of upper limb like the humerus, the radius, the ulna, the scapula, correct? <clears throat> All of them you will read. Then you will read the pectoral region, the muscles, the pectoralis muscles, serratus anterior, subclavius is a muscle, right? What is subclavius? It's a small muscle, yes. <clears throat> so all these muscles you will learn about. You will learn about the mammary gland, the breast. <clears throat> that is a very important topic actually. Then you will read uh, in axilla, you will read axillary artery, brachial plexus. This is something very important, brachial plexus, okay. Then you will read what else, a lot of things. Then moving on, in the scapular region, you will read what, the deltoid muscle. Then you have arm, forearm etc. Joints of upper limb. What are the joints of upper limb? Shoulder joint, elbow joint, wrist joint, correct? So you're getting an idea, right, what exactly is going to be taught in upper limb. Now moving on to thorax. In thorax you will learn the bones and joints of thorax. What can you think about the bones and joints of thorax? The ribs, yes, the sternum, walls of thorax. Thoracic cavity, lungs, you will read about the lungs, then the mediastinum, pericardium, the heart, the heart, you want to know about the heart, right? Everything about the heart that you will come up in thorax, superior vena cava, iota, pulmonary trunk, esophagus, thoracic drug, trachea, everything. Then head and neck, head and neck, what and all you will study? the scalp, the face, correct, the eye, the neck, submandibular region, nose, mouth, lot of things, right? What would you think you will learn in face? In face you will read the facial muscles, the arteries, the nerves, eye, I, you will learn the muscles of the eye. Okay, let's move on. Brain, neuroanatomy. In neuroanatomy, you will see, you will learn about the brain. <clears throat> then the midbrain, then the pons, the medulla oblongata. Midbrain, pons, medulla oblongata. These three form the brain stem, correct? Is it clear? Spinal cord, you will read about the spinal cord. Basically, you should know that uh, the brain and the spinal cord together are the central nervous system. Okay. Very good. So then, we are done with uh, paper 1. Correct? Paper 2, what and all will be there? Lower limb, abdomen, pelvis. Okay. Lower limb, Lower limb means uh, bones of lower limb will be the femur, the tibia, correct? The femur, the tibia. So you have the thigh, right? Parts of the lower limb. You have the thigh, then you have the gluteal region, that is our buttocks, gluteal region. Popliteal fossa, that is behind the knee joint. Then you will have... Uh, Ankle joint, knee joint, arches of foot, you will learn about the longest muscle, sartorius. What else you will read about? Hernias, right? 
some introduction to hernias, inguinal canal, right, all that you will learn, okay. In the lower limb. Okay, coming to abdomen, abdomen you will learn, a uh, lot of things are there in abdomen, right, what and all you have in abdomen. You have the stomach, genital, male genital system, then you must be having the female genital, they didn't put that here, only male genital they have put. Something is missing, right? Okay, the intestine, the gut, the biliary apparatus, the liver, right? Hepa hepatic biliary apparatus, spleen, pancreas, liver, kidney, ureter, the adrenal gland or the suprarenal gland, the diaphragm. So, the diaphragm is the separation between the thorax and the abdomen, okay? The diaphragm, you know the diaphragm? Yeah, the diaphragm is going to be the separation between the thorax and the abdomen. Pelvis, what will you study in pelvis? Okay, female reproductive system is covered here. So you have the urinary bladder, urethra, the genitals, the rep female reproductive system, male reproductive system, the rectum, the anal canal, all that in pelvis. Okay, so in practicals, what will be there in anatomy? You will have embryology, genetics, radiology, osteology, histology. What is embryology? Embryology, you will study about uh, spermatogenesis, oogenesis, fertilization, morula, blastula, gastrula. So many things, you already know all this, right? Then how the further, you know, till gastrula, I'm sure you know already in 12th. Beyond that, you will know the notochord development, septum transversum, how the female genital tract develops, how the male genital tracts develop. A lot of details is there. Genetics, um, you will learn about Down syndrome, Kleinfelter syndrome, Turner syndrome, karyotyping. Histology, uh, you will read a lot of stuff. How the appendix looks, how the adrenal gland looks, right? All this you will see. So That is what is histology, guys. Histology means what? You are going to look at the microscopic structure. You should be able to look at this and identify it as cerebrum. They will hardly give you one minute to do that. Okay. Then what else? Um, gross, you will have gross specimens like uh, they will keep all the dissection uh, of the dead body, right? The cadaver. The cadaver parts will be kept and you will have to identify the nerves, arteries, muscles, everything. Osteology, you will have to talk about the bone like um, the side of the bone, the muscles which are attached, all that you should know. Then radiology, radiology you should be able to identify the bones in the, you should first of all say what type of x-ray it is, plain x-ray, anterior, posterior view or a posterior, anterior view or lateral view, what it is, <clears throat> you should be able to identify the bones this and all is there in Chaurasia, don't have to worry, okay? Even radiology is covered in Chaurasia textbook. <clears throat> so, all this you will have to know. Then, what else you will need to know? Spotters. Spotters is also there in Chaurasia. They will just uh, give you a specimen and you have to identify what it is. Again, one minute time only for that. Surface marking, something like this where you will have to identify the uh, they will give you a, on the cadaver, on the dead body, right? That's what you call a dead body as a cadaver. On that cadaver, they give you chalk piece and ask you to draw a parotid duct, you know, where exactly parotid duct comes. So, you'll have to draw it and you'll have, you'll have some landmarks, one centimeter from there, two centimeter from there, etc. You should know all that details and you should draw it on the cadaver using a chalk piece. So, that is what is sur uh, surface anatomy. This also is covered in Chaurasia, don't worry. I have a feeling Chaurasia has even surface anatomy. <clears throat> now, so that was the practical part. So, welcome to anatomy. I think um, that's all for now from our side. Hope you enjoy anatomy. Take care. Bye-bye.